we think about education, we think about students and teachers, the learning experience, what goes on in a classroom. Oftentimes we don't think about where that occurs and what goes into that learning environment. The building, the structure, the safety, those sorts of things that go into creating a learning environment in Blue Valley. We now have an opportunity to reinvest, reinforce, and reimagine. When we think about a bond issue and what the proceeds can be used for, one of the primary uses for that is reinvestment in facilities. In fact, they may be the only reinvestment tool that we have in our facilities, so we need to make sure that we use that and use that uh, well. Generally speaking, there are three buckets of funds that the school district gets to work with for a variety of operations. The operating fund is primarily for salary, benefits, and utilities. The capital outlay fund is for short-term construction facilities and technology, but it's the bond fund that gives us our long-term investment strategies for our facility needs, our technology needs, and our safety needs. And that is the primary way that local entities can support building programs throughout the Blue Valley School District. An important item to note is that these funds cannot be commingled with one another. They stay in the buckets to which they were given and we can only draw bond funds out of the bond fund bucket. We have some buildings that are approaching 25, 30, 35 years old. We need to continue to reinvest in those facilities so they're new and exciting and great for kids. Sometimes excitement around reinvestment isn't always there because it's bricks, it's mortar, it's roofs, but this is one of the most important things we can do in this bond issue. Well, just like when you own a house and you need to make sure the roof is still in good condition, the pavements are in great condition, that's safe and, and accessible, that's what we want our facilities to. So when they start approaching 25, 30, 35 years old, we need to continue to reinvest in those facilities because it provides the continued greater learning experiences and learning environments for our kids. The bond referendum is very important um, for us in technology. It is one of the main sources of funding. In some instances, it's, it's sometimes the only source of funding in order to purchase capital assets. Some of the reinvestment will go towards uh, modernizing the classroom as we as we reimagine and re rethink how teaching and learning takes place in the classroom. So it opens up more opportunities for personalized learning, uh, collaborative learning lessons, project-based learning. To continue uh, down the road of complete equal access and equity for every student, no matter what building or classroom we're in, Bond funds are going to be continually important for that mission in order to support and to sustain that. If not for this bond, we would still have facilities that are aging. We would still have facility needs at each of these uh, sites that would need addressing. And we'd have to seek alternative ways to do that. And quite frankly, there are not very many alternative ways to address the needs that we'll have in the future outside of this bond issue. Our basic philosophy is one of prevention. We want to keep everybody safe. We want to prevent bad things from happening in our schools. We do that through trusted adult relationships with kids. We get to know our kids. We have an environment where kids feel very free to come to an adult they trust in a building. That is the most important thing. But in addition to that, we have to layer in these other uh, security measures to address all the other possibilities when it comes to things that could harm our kids. We've done that over the years. We've put systems in place, but we need to continue to reinforce those systems as we move down the road. And it is through these bond packages that we're able to make these advances. Right now, if there's a lights off lockdown drill, we turn off the lights, the kids go to the designated area. After that, I go to the door and I it should be locked already. If it's not, I go outside the classroom, lock it, come back in, and shut the door. We need the uniformity around the school because if I go into a different classroom and their locks are on the inside instead of the outside, or I have a classroom that has a different key that I don't have access to, there's no way for me to keep the kids safe, keep myself safe. In a crisis situation, um, every single second matters, so the time that I'm taking to go outside the door to lock it or to go over to the door to make sure it's locked is just another second away from the kids that I could be helping keep safe.
To reimagine could be our physical spaces, it could be our programs. So, you know, start with our physical spaces. Um, our, many of our schools were built uh, 20 and 30 years ago, and it gives us a chance to think about how learning has changed, to provide some opportunities in our buildings for small group instruction, for large group instruction, for individual personalized learning. We also know that in the next few years, we're going to need a new elementary in the southern part of the district due to growth. And then finally, it gives us a chance to think about um, programs that we have and how those programs have changed in the last 30 years and, and what do we need to do to enhance those programs for our kids. Things like career technical education in our middle and our high school. I talk to kids all the time that um, are having a hard time finding their niche, just finding something that they can be passionate about. They're just basically going through the motions throughout their day. And, and this is an awesome opportunity for these kids to get their hands into something. This is something where they can learn the ins and outs of a job and really be super productive moving into the, the professional world beyond here. Flexible space to me has really meant opening up the doors and making one big classroom so that we can have 60 students together and still be able to do a lesson. It's allowing students to go to various classrooms easily. It's allowing us to open up doors and do some co-teaching. And it's allowing the students to take more ownership over what they're doing throughout the day. If we didn't have our bond dollars, what we would have to continue to do is to look at our existing spaces and just make them work the way they are, which is, is limiting in many cases. I believe our overall goal is to continue to help this community provide that great quality of life. And with that, and at the top of the economic development pyramid, is what I believe is quality education. People want to live here. People want to raise their families here. Businesses want to be here. And without great public schools to drive that economic development, we don't get to have any of that. So this bond is important to this community. We ran a bond referendum that passed graciously from our, our voters and we're able to do some great things. So fast forward to eight, nine, 10 years later, it's time to, it's time to run another one. And so our, our board, along with our administrative team, have gone to an incredibly thorough process to evaluate the needs of our, our, our community. In many, many ways, we're blessed to be in the Blue Valley Schools. I feel blessed to be here, have my grandchildren going to our schools, and to have really good schools and high quality communities takes stewardship in such a way that now we're able to have a no tax rate increase on this request for $186 million. The other thing that I think is important for us to understand is how this bond issue is different than those that we've had in the past. We're asking for a lower amount of money, but that's really so that we can target the improvements that need to be made across our district in order meeting the needs of students. The other thing about across the district is ensuring that the equity of this money goes to meeting the needs of all 23,000 students. It's an important part of our planning. It's an important part of your understanding that we've taken a real hard look at what we need, what we desire for our students, and being thoughtful about that approach so that equity in this bond issue is met. We have a great opportunity in front of us to reinvest, reinforce, and reimagine.